Today in the sage deserts of northern Nevada sits a project that is hot. The company, Nevada Geothermal Power, or NGP, is working to realize their dream of producing clean 21st century energy. The NGP is developing geothermal projects throughout the U.S., including the Blue Mountain Project, located 20 miles west of Winnemucca, Nevada. After years of exploration and development, the dream is almost complete with the construction of Phase 1, a 49.5 megawatt geothermal power plant called Faulkner 1 at Blue Mountain. Power will be electrifying the grid in the last quarter of 2009. Hi, my name's Mark. I'm the operations manager for Nevada Geothermal Power. And behind me is Nevada Geothermal Power's Blue Mountain Faulkner One Geothermal Plant. It's a 50 megawatt gross, 40 megawatt net binary plant. This is a bird's eye view of the Blue Mountain project. Uh, some of the well pads you see closest to us here are the production part of the field. Um, we have six production wells here. And then there's the, the power block. And then on the other side of the power block is the injection part of the well field. You can see that we have one drill rig drilling an injection well, and the other drill rig is rigging up to drill the last injection well. NGP has accomplished major milestones at Blue Mountain with the construction of the power plant, cooling tower, and switch yard. With transmission poles snaking along the horizon, the Blue Mountain geothermal plant is finally taking shape. NGP has completed all six production wells which provide enough energy for the power plant. Two injection wells are also finished with two more currently being drilled. One of the things, as you know, that has been great about the Blue Mountain system, it's, it's blind. It started out as mining. They were looking for gold. They found gold, but it's not economic and they kept running into the hot water. And that's how we were able to develop the geothermal out here. Took it from some thermal gradient holes to some slim wells funded by the U.S. Department of Energy, which outlined the success of Blue Mountain, confirmed our reservoir, and then we started with our full-blown production drilling in the summer of 2006. So here we are for a small company. It's amazing how quickly we've gone from a few drill holes in the ground to full-blown. The production drilling's done. We're working on our injection drilling, and you've seen the plant. That's the well right there, 26A14. Um, we've got it controlled by a master valve and a working valve. And then coming off the top of it is what you call a flow T. Now that flow T then sends the water in the direction of the two-phase separator um, through through the, through, through the bluey line, it's controlled by two valves. These two valves are used to throttle the well back. Um, as you can see right now, there's a little bit of carryover due to the, the small size of the separator. So these two valves are used to throttle the well back and control it if we see any kicks that come through it. Right now, currently the temperature is probably about 374, and so it's, uh, it's pretty hot. So there's obviously some safety issues with it. Um, as it goes through, uh, the, the larger spool, as you call it, uh, past those valves. It's called a test spool. We use those to monitor the pressure, line pressure, line temperature, and there's also two ports that you can do two-phase sampling steam for sampling for steam and sampling for water. Um, then goes up through a 45 degree elbow into a tube called a James tube. That, at the end of that James tube is a uh, another pressure pressure tubing that'll give you the lip pressure, which will, hold, if you, when you put all of these readings together, it'll give you a total enthalpy of the well, total output. Um, next, it goes into the separator where you can see the steam separating out of the top and the water separating out of the bottom. The water that comes out of the bottom goes into, the, into this box called a weir box, where you can measure the flow rate and, um, and do also do some additional water sampling through there if you like. With the production drilling completed, there are enough megawatts to feed the geothermal plant rated at 49.5 megawatt gross and a net of 39.5 megawatt. There's the cooling tire structure. It's a plastic structure. All this black material that's all around, they call that fill. And basically it's going to go inside the, the cooling tire. So when the water goes up to the top, it splashes down, it hits the fill, it, it, it splashes. And so the air, when we're sucking the air in, it gets more contact with the air so that the cooling process is more efficient. So all that black material is going to be stuck inside that, those, those structures when they get ready. This is, this is a generator. We've walked by the other two. 
and on each end will be a turbine. And, and this one is the level one turbine and, and associated with each turbine will be preheaters and a vaporizer and then the condensers. So the, the fluid, the, wa the hot water comes in on the other end, heats the, the vapor or the liquid up to make it a vapor. The vapor comes over, runs through the turbine. The vapor then goes back up to the it goes out up to the condensers where it's condensed back to a liquid pumped and goes around in circles. The switchyard where Nevada Energy is going to hook up to the geothermal power plant is nearing completion and 21 miles of transmission poles are already installed with high voltage line ready to be strung. All the foundations have been laid with condensers installed and generators and heat exchangers completed. The power plant is really taking shape. Number one is going to put Humboldt County and Winnemucca on the map, which is um, what better opportunities can we have to have this project here and be successful generating power and then other people can see that we are a viable place for not only geothermal, for green energy, but for business in general. The power plant will be up and running and producing green energy by the end of this year. The NGP Blue Mountain Geothermal Project is well on the road to revenue. To follow this and other projects, please go to www.nevadageothermal.com.